My name is Manel from English Climber. Welcome to my 30-day NaNoWriMo challenge journey. In this video today, I am sharing one trap that many writers fall into, and I really want to say people in general might as well. Just as I was starting to royally pouting, ready to get depressed from only producing 854 words in day five, feeling down from the small, tiny, mini word count, not even reaching the minimum daily word count goal, preparing myself to embrace the defeat ahead of me. I'm such a failure. I have received an email from NaNoWriMo Gurus. And the email was automated, as many that land into my inbox. And I really opened it without real conviction. And the note basically said how a big of it, how big of a deal it was to reach the ten thousand word mark. I smiled instantly, and I had some tears, a little, and I was proud. Okay, very proud. And I remembered that in tough days, every single word counts. I remembered that, hey, wait a second, I am keeping up with this. I was five days in and haven't even thought of taking a break or worse, quitting. I haven't had writer's block. And I am so in love with my story. <laughs> I have very supportive friends and family and even a few I don't know yet. So yeah, I have decided that I had no time wasting and being too hard on myself. I am doing great and tomorrow is another day. And I am getting better each day at it, at being organized, finding extra time, and I am a doer. So yeah. 854 amazing thought for well-deserved new words in for day five. 854 words that didn't exist before I put them together. 854 words that kind of make of me a humble kind of a big deal. Remember this, no matter what you set your mind to, whether it be a small goal or a bigger one, be kind to yourself as you go for it. Thank you for watching and sharing with me my 30-day NaNoWriMo journey challenge. I'm Manel from English Climber. And feel free to let me know what you think of the challenge so far. And if you would like me to talk about anything in particular, do let me know in the comment section below. I will see you later. Until then, bye-bye.